Why hello there, looking for Great War, uh, The War to End All Wars 1914-1918, how did that work out? German Infantry 1916-1918, to that's a real mouthful isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well you came to the right place and they're from Atlantic Games. That is a really long title. That's huge. Yeah, that is a massive title. Uh, the Great War, the World Trade World, not 1940, not German infantry, not I've got to do that at the end of the video. Why just put World War I Germans? Or late German World War I Germans. Um, the reason they're 1916 is because they've got the tin hat. This awesome tin hat, if it focuses. Yep. This awesome tin hat. Uh, the gas mask, as you big critters, I guess. Um, yeah, that's it. The tin hat. Tin hat's awesome. Um, but you can also actually equip them all as early war as well. So it says 1916 to 1918, but you can have the um, cardboard hat as well um, that the Germans used, which is just um, awesome and useless at stopping bullets, but yeah. it looks good. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, let's unbox it, shall we? Are you getting pictures on the back? And the same pictures as the pictures on the front. More or less, right. Let's have a look at them. If I can get in the box. Wrong end. Yeah. No, it's sealed up. It's, it's, been, it's been like standing there like 10 No, minutes. it hasn't. You never opened this box. That's the other box that we based up. Oh, yeah, I have You've that got box. two boxes, yeah. That's cat and... Yeah. I mean, everyone stop finding things. Right. No, it's upside down. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> you know we could edit that out, but <sighs> we're not going to. Right, so... Here are the sprues. These guys are great. Uh, so they're World War One Germans, basically. 28 mil. And they're really, really good. Uh, not a massive amount of detail on the uniforms because the uniforms didn't have a massive amount of detail on. Um, they're basically smock overalls to keep them warm, this, this winter kind of gear. Um, so we have the uniforms. We have a nice guy uh, kneeling down. We have all these guys here and a massive array of heads. You could equip every single man in a flat cap, every single man in a gas mask, every single man in a uh, spring handle, you know, the, 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 mm -hmm. the pointy hat, every single man in the stalid hat, the steel hat, stalid helm, st stalin helm, helm stalin, whatever, German, I'm, I'm not German. So tin hat, so you can actually equip the men as in anything, all of them, they're great. Uh, then a huge amount of gas masks, that's one gas mask for each man, so if he's not got a gas mask on, he can have the gas mask carried in a little pouch. We have one of them, don't we? And enough weapons to equip everybody with everything. You have the traditional officer's pointy hand. Oh, you can't is. Yes, you can't identify an officer without a pointy hand. Um, we have a guy with a very, very large grenade. Which is... Anti tank grenade. Yep. Um, we have a pistol. Uh, well, that's the Luger automatic pistol, isn't it? Yes. Yes, that's Luger. Um, we have a holster for a Luger automatic pistol and a holster for a standard Luger. Um, I just say the Lugers always... In, when I was a kid, the Germans always have Lugers, right? The Lugers are rubbish. Just, uh, from experience... Um, Lugas are actually rubbish. They jam continuously. <laughs> they have useless things. <laughs> Although they're probably very old. But um, yeah, don't like Lugas. Um, so there we have a proper... That's a Luger held in his hand. Just there. So he will fire one shot and then the gun will jam. And then he will be overrun by Frenchmen and Benetted. Yep. That's a terrible shame. Um, at the moment, I'm not really sure if Atlantic have anything out to fight against these guys. If they have a line like that, then clearly they do. Yeah, but I haven't seen anything on that. When, when we got these, we wanted to get two sides, we wanted to get French. And, um, or oh, fairly not British. But we couldn't actually find any more, didn't have any more available, so we just got the Germans. Um, so we figured we'd do the Germans up. By the time we'd done them, we, we'd get the French. I will see. Yes, you're having a look now, yeah. Um, so, equipment wise, we have all of these, which goes on the back. Just here, there's a little diggy thing. I'm sure it has a technical name, spade, shovel. Um, then we have lots of hands holding grenades, all in different ways. And then we have the machine gun, which is here. Which is just Just awesome. the British. Oh, they've got British out now. They've got British. Right, great stuff. I don't really want to fight against British, because <laughs> that's a bit boring. 
You know what we did in the war? We signed trenches and occasionally walked towards German machine guns. Mm. It's about it. It's boring. Yeah. Absolutely dull. Uh, I wanted to do French because we wanted to do Verdun, didn't we, years ago? We did, yeah. I never got around to it. We could do the Somme then. We could do the. Oh, how boring. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, how boring can you get? You know, we, um, many, 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 many years before you were born, um, we got a huge amount of uh, World War I stuff from irregular miniatures. A uh, huge French army and a huge German army. Two massive armies, only six mil. And we had the whole six foot by six foot table all done out in trenches. Right? It looked amazing. Uh, we made it out of ceiling tiles. You know those square tiles mm -hmm. that go on the roof? They're banned now. Uh, because they made out of polystyrene, you could just cut, cut the holes out where the trenches were. <laughs> And they, they were really awesome. It looked great. And we did this battle. The first battle we did, got all of us there at the club, and the French launched their attack, and were entirely annihilated, <laughs> just completely wiped out. And so the Germans tried to counterattack because they figured the French were now weak, but the French machine guns were still there, and all the Germans died. And then we just sat there very quiet for about half an hour, just not saying anything, because it really was that horrific. Yeah. It was horrific. We had a very good rule system as well, which was quite realistic. And um, yeah, it was awful. It was just like, oh God, this is actually, this was horrible. <laughs> um, so then we did carry on playing games and we just decided to do raid games because that way it's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, and then we did later, later where we had tanks, which is actually useless because the Germans have anti-tank guns. That's good. Isn't it interesting that um, the first day we used tanks was the day that the first German anti-tank guns had arrived at that exact sector <laughs> of the front? Oh. It's almost as if the Germans, the, 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 the Germans knew we were coming. It's a bit like um, how the uh, the Battle for Concord, um, the, the, they knew exactly where all the British troops were because the wife of the general in charge of America was, was a rebel yeah. and was telling the rebels everything. It's a bit embarrassing really. Yeah. Yeah, she was a spy. Um, so yes, uh, Germans. Germans are absolutely, well I would say Germans are awesome. World War One Germans are awesome. World War Two Germans had, they got what was coming to them. Yeah. Um, you know, curb stomped by the Russians. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, maybe just on one front at a time. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Stop invading Russia. Stop invading every single country you see. <laughs> see, every time Europe is united by a dictator, right? They invade Russia. <laughs> every time. It's stupid. Stop Napoleon, doing it. Napoleon. Britain. Brit Britain. Uh, <laughs> You're going to cry me in what? Germany. Yes. Germ Twice. You know, just, <laughs> just, just give in. Yeah. Just, just don't do it. And now the European Union, of course, wants to go to war with Russia too. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it's a bit hard going to war with the country where all your fuel comes from yeah because sooner or later your tanks run out of fuel mm -hmm. and then you have to ask the people you're at war with to buy fuel from them and they're like nah I'm not selling it yet. mind you the Russian they probably would sell it at a really high price <laughs> yeah well there we are Germans right let's have a look at the figures assembled shall we this is a um Op Opstrand Banefuhrer I think from an my officer. an officer, yes, yeah. um, which means admin, like lieutenant, uh, no, sub lieutenant, isn't it? Sub lieutenant, something like that. I know, I don't know what the British equivalent is, um, but what, uh, didn't Hitler become a lieutenant? In intelligence, yes, he wasn't in the army then. He, he, he um, it was in the army. No, he was a corporal. And he no, was gassed, gassed. and um, when he rejoined the army, um, he was in part, he was in part of the intelligence organisation. So he was basically a commissar. Yeah, no, because they started checking all the different weird yes. ongoings in different parties. Yes, um, you know, um, what are you men talking about? Yeah. What is this Bolshevik newspaper I found? I will report you to the lieutenant. Yes. That's what he was. He was one of them. So basically, he was a commissar and, or whatever Germans pass for a commissar. A commissar. Yeah, a commissar. And um, yeah, well, the Germans weren't communists and commissars come from communism. Um, so a political officer. 
Is that it? It's, it's, the, it's literally a like, picture. It's literally just the opposite. Yes. To, they just do the opposite thing. Uh, yeah, and the British Army also had political officers as well. If, Everyone did. Yes, if you had a soul, the French certainly did. <laughs> you got star rebellions, haven't you? Well, yeah, you got people sat there around the fire at night saying, why do we keep getting up and walking towards the Germans? I don't get it. And, and what did you say? <laughs> no, it's your, your, as an Englishman, you must get up and walk towards, you're uh-huh. not patriotic. What's this poetry you're writing? Yeah. Shoot you at dawn, sort of thing. <laughs> and then if you get shell shock, you know, PTSD, they shot you. <laughs> that cures it fast, doesn't it? it does. Yay! Well done. I actually, I actually despise the British government. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. That's a, a, a proper um, Lancer. That's a British, uh, a German infantryman. Very nice in his proper attire. He's really good. Really good. I wonder if they're going to bring, bring about horses with uh, gas masks on. Uh, one of my favourite films um, years ago when I had it. I don't know where it's gone because when we change all the DVDs, I haven't been able to find it. And uh, it's a French film. And the Germans attack, and they use gas, and all and the horses come through the, the the smoke, and it's one scene, and it is the most amazingly filmed scene, because there's all the gas smoke, and the horses come through with lance ulans on the back, and the, all the horses are in full gas masks, in with like chemical clothing on the horses, <laughs> and all the guys are in, in ma- gas masks. Thing is, how do the Germans see anything? Yeah, I know, right. Yeah. How's a horse see anything? How's a horse see anything? I mean, we've we, we've got a gas mask, right? From World War One, and you cannot see out of the thing. You you've got two tiny holes for the eyes, and they're opaque, and you can't you can hardly see anything. And our breathing is enhanced. Uh, oh like, yeah. All you hear is. <laughs> That's all you can hear is your <laughs> yeah. breathing. Yeah. So I I don't know how effective gas masks really were. They would keep you alive. Didn't they just wear just a bag on the head at some point? Because like Hitler early on, yeah. When Hitler got gassed, he used one of them like like a paper bag. Yeah, head. yeah, because he, he gave his gas mask to an officer. Yeah, he did. He gave his normal back gas mask to an officer because yeah. um, his, his officer didn't put it on time. Yeah, um, and he got the Iron Cross for saving the officer's life and for running through an artillery barrage. He, he's, he's, the guy was uh, mad, yeah, right? He was <laughs> clearly insane. Um, yeah, he wasn't even shelled by. They were, I think they've been shelled by their own guns. Yes, they were. And, and yeah. he, he was getting there to tell them, yeah. stop. So him and like three other guys volunteered to run through their own artillery barrage, and he oh, said yeah. they made it. Um, yeah, and whoever got there got a reward. Yeah. Oh, uh, didn't he get prom- instant promotion or something? Yeah, to corporal. To uh, corporal. Yeah. That's how he became a corporal. Yeah. So he didn't actually become corporal through being good at his job. Mm. He became a corporal through surviving. Yeah. Bit like the Russian Pavlov Guard. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, Pavlov Guard. And I. Pavlov. How do you say it? Do we... What? Pavlovsky. Pa- oh, how do you know these things? I don't know. I just kept reading the box over and <laughs> Pavlovsky. And look really cool. They do look good. I was like, ah, Pavlovsky. Ah, Pavlovsky. Ooh, Pavlovsky. <laughs> See, our downside is we, we, we wanted to do Eastern Front Napoleonics, didn't we? Uh, Napoleon's invasion of Russia. But we wanted to do in the winter. Remember? We're going to yeah. do that. And um, you can't get Russians in trench coat. You get French in trench coat, can't get Russians in trench coat. Yeah. And we haven't been able to find anyone who does Russians in trench coat. The, the, enough, the, with enough enough range to actually do it. Because um, we want everyone in trench coat. Um, but that's it. That's the guys anyway. And um, I really like them. I like these figures. And we need to find out, see if we can get the British. Yeah. Um, because yeah, so as I said, when, when when these first came out, I went to the site, got these, and there was nothing else. So you know, but apparently the British are out. So we'll, we'll, looks like we're doing British. Yeah. Yeah. So British tanks? No, there's only infantry right now. <laughs> and I know a company that does twenty eight mil British tanks. So um, and they're quite good. I think you get three in a box. So. Is that everything? Yeah. So if you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe and comment down below. Here we go. The great, uh, how you feel about the Great War, the war to end, end all wars, wars 1914 to 1918. How did that go? Germany, <laughs> 1916 to 1918. <sighs> 30 more part, multi part, pl- hard plastic, 28 millimeter figures. War games, Atlantic. Yeah, dudes. 
title. Come on, <laughs> work on it. It's okay. We've got the Second World World War Blaze to come up as well. Mm. The French Resistance. Got something else made up. That's it. That's, That's it. everything from me. Everything from him. Goodbye. See ya.